This is Team Secret and Vici Gaming. And start with the jungling. Oh, Yang taking a lot of damage here. Can they find him? He is going to be fine. Puppy doesn't have a lot of mana, doesn't want to chase. The Lifestealer keeps on hunting. Finally, they will find a better here with the Rage. This Outrider will fall. Very unlikely that the row is going to connect unless Paparazzi gets the slow first and he will go for it as they do try and get the row going but he's going to miss as Yapsor shows up with the Malafai's magic piece I was there and with Puppy showing up nice blinding line but actually pushes Fade away as that's a rotation for Mori. Can they find Yapsor? No, he's gonna be on 30 HP as he disengages Puppy channeling that little bit and it's going to hit onto everyone. Four heroes being hit by that with the exorcism looking for Yapsor but he finds a very cozy place in the trees as it looks like Puppy will be turned around to get that kill. Can they find the tower as well, the catapult is here and suddenly Vichy Gaming actually turns up the pace of the game and they want to find the tower. Alright, that is actually pretty good and unfortunately mid one cannot pressure the tower nearly as fast as a Death Prophet can and that is the difference between the matchups. Looks like the Oracle actually gets taken down by Zai as they do rotate here but that is the tower from Ori. There you go, very efficient boy. As they do smoke towards this bottom side of the map where uh, Vichy Gaming is trying to push, they're gonna find a good Astro onto one of the Vichy Gaming heroes as Ori tries to get on top of Yamsu but he has a freaking BKB, the lasso cancels that black hole as they keep on fighting. Looks like Willow Wisp was also committed as Ori disengages from that. They will get a kill onto your spirit as they do get the false promise onto Death Prophet, allowing Ori to do a lot of damage. The hammer is there. They will lose the bad trident and Ori still trying to do damage to mid one. Can they actually find this kill? They will get on top of him and that is going to be a kill. Oh my god, it's so tanky. He has HP region from the Purifying Flames and that is a triple kill for Nisha. As blink in the travels. Let's check everyone, everyone's items for that matter. Oh, let's actually watch the fight in the top lane. Fade trying to get the row and they will get a blinding line with the magic missile, but they will find a lasso onto this. Oh no. They're gonna get the swap, canceling the lasso as they do drop the Willow. It looks like they will lose the Cotto as the fight continues. They're gonna get a good row on top of mid one as they do get on top of him with the silence. He's not gonna get a natural off. And finally, Vichy Gaming getting a decent fight. Zai trying to run away. He has a TP. Can he get out? There is use after available. They will lift him up, and there's no way he's gonna get out. So finally, Vichy Gaming actually gets a three for now. They will get the Fates Edict with the Purifying Flames and the Paparazzi. He's going to join the Roshan Pit once again. Some stones being laid down around the map. Puppy using the constant Illuminate spam. And now another ward will be dropped. The Sentry is not revealing this ward on the side of Vichy Gaming. And this fight is starting to become super tense. There is less available. Can they find a good one? The Willow is going to be dropped with the Midnight Pulse. So much damage. BKB pop on to Ori as he pops the Exorcism. Nice false promise on the Bat Rider. Can he find a good lasso? He is looking for. Yep, sir. No. The last Lasso is there before, I'm sorry, the swap is there before the lasso. The other lasso gets utilized as Nisha tries to use the open wounds to disengage. They will though use the scepter onto him. The Venge is already dead and Vichy Gaming somehow is taking his fight against Team Secret. They're gonna get a good silence with the row and that is a dead, dead uh, Nisha for 70 seconds, no buyback. I think Vichy Gaming will claim Roshan and somehow against Gaben's odds, Vichy Gaming is taking this. They will drop the flame break there as mid one is looking for that hammer. He doesn't have a lot of intelligence stolen, but Roshan will fall, Paparazzi picks it up and with the blink here, looks like our boy uh, Betrayed is gonna be Astrid up with the kick. Nice blink out from the after entirety of Team Secret will be taken out. So you can get two Astros, right? Okay, the Astro is here, that's the first one. And they keep on looking, nice swap or the throw as they do four step of what's your weight so much damage but false promises there willow is blocking fading place as they will get another astro still looking for him can they lock him down inside the willow is they're not gonna do it another freaking astro mid one just lock him throw in place as he tries to bkb and now he's after zai he's gonna try and get on top oh god they're gonna find a good lasso on jenima as nisha tries to get the open wounds on yang but he's in high ground from just kiting the entirety of team secret they will lose that um, enigma as they do use the spirit siphon with the scepter can they get the silence there's no mana on to Ori, mana on to Nisha as he disengages Magic Missile landing on to Paparazzi as they will use the Glimmer Cape allowing the Lifestar to disengage only the Enigma and the Earth Spirit dead for now. They will get a good swap as they do get on top with the Hammer. This is a dead Death Prophet. Nice use of the Magic Missile and Paparazzi will waste his Aegis. He doesn't have BKB or Battle Trance. He's probably going to die here. He uses the Axe as he tries to disengage with the Open Wounds. The Flame Break is there but Nisha has the Rage. Paparazzi super tanky but with that Medallion this damage is insane. The row is going to not 
not land as they do chase with the life stealer. It looks like the choice actually find nice row out with the kick as Fady is looking to smoke breaks on both the life stealer and the air spirit. There's still a decent duration on the side of Paparazzi. Oh my god, they're gonna jump this air spirit. There's no way he's going to survive. He will be forced step out as he commits the mech. And now with the row, he's going to be fine. Black hole is going to be onto two. It's going on the throw. Paparazzi has the BKB on. He needs to run away and he will be able to get out. The Willow is not going to lock him in place, but because of the Astro, it looks like Yang is going to fall as Ori is trying to disengage. They do buy back the match right He has a TP here and it is time for them to turn this fight around. He will get the false problems onto him, but the Astro just holding the uh, DP in place as they do get a swap, trying to find the OD. The Glimmer Camp with the four step, they will be able to disengage. And now the blink board from Ori looking for this OD. And with the Spirit Siphon, they might be able to slow him down. The hammer though does so much damage. Side will get a good magic missile as they try to get on top of Paparazzi here. He has Battle Transform going. He's a beast right now, but he finally wears off his dish and tries to turn it around. Paparazzi, he's so low, 300 HP as they do disarm the Nisha. Life to the Paparazzi TP away. He will be able somehow to get out. So they actually lose one here instead of Vichy Gaming. They fight zero heroes. Actually, they're going to lose two. And a uh, buyback on the Batrider. So Secret, they did fight a little better than Vichy Gaming. He might be pressured out of the Roshan pit. Another Illuminate will connect onto the throne as Nisha does not stop. They will get a swap onto Batrider. He doesn't have a BKB and now Fade shows up. He's gonna get Astro once again and it looks like one by one they're losing every single hero. They will force that Fade as he actually gets a row somehow. That looks super wonky. Roshan still 30% HP. Right. So the Aegis is now going towards Nisha. You know, you can kite the Life Stealer all you want, but if he's hitting your barracks, then that, that's going to be a problem. Open Moon's on Chateau as he tries to get out the uh, Fortunes and will be there to dispel the Open Wounds as uh, Paparazzi keeps on trying to stop Nisha. Oh, he's going to get a good bash with the Fortunes and the Astro is locking the throwing places. They do get the Silence. The Man's going to take the Silence off, but the Glimmer keep allowing Fate to disengage as Paparazzi also disengages. The Willow is going to be deployed, but look at that. That is a swap onto the Ventral Spirit. Can they actually burst down Zyde? That will be huge. They do have have another swap and now it looks like you're going back as they do get a good roll on top of Zai again with the Apollo. The Grims is there dispelling everything but look at the damage. This stroke the BKB wants to shred Zai and it looks like he will be successful at that. The black hole is available. So you need to still standing in the high ground as they will buy back Zai. Puffy will die here or it actually gets back to which me after looking for the black hole. The hammer is here. Do I? Still alive as they do find another kill. That's a buyback onto the throw and they are trying to find the after here. The silence they will find a kill and that is a double kill for Ori. Looks like Yang still alive using the fire flash to disengage they're trying to disengage with mid one here. Can he get out? I don't think so. He has Astro in about one second. He's looking for it. It's the cheese. And Zai shows up with the magic missile. They will use one Astro as they charge by time. Mid one still very, very low as Nisha is still alive. Another swap. This fight is freaking crazy. As mid one with another four step. Another blink from Yang. But he will be debating. He's going to fall as they do four step. Paparazzi. This is a dieback. If he falls in fade, he's so low. Midnight falls. Be deployed. Oh, there's a black hole that cancels instantly. But that is a triple kill anyway for Yamzer as they get a gem and they will group up for another tower here. They're going to clip the base on the side of Vichy Gaming. And I don't understand how Ori will spend the Crypt Swarms here, but I don't think they have any more gas in the tank here. Vichy Gaming are gonna buy back that Earth Spirit as they do blink out. Ori trying to find the Ventral Spirit here with the Silence Mid-1 with another Astro trying to buy time. And now Pulse being delayed, being deployed as Paparazzi is gonna be forced to get the False Promise onto him. He doesn't have Battle Trans. He needs 60 seconds. They will find the OD though. Mid-1 as Paparazzi does survive through the False Promise. They will now commit the Rage as the Isha is forced out. Can they actually stop the retreat from Team Secret. That would be huge. They do not have Lasso, but they lie. Okay, they will blink forward with the Batrider looking for the no palm. The match mix is going to connect. Almoro Devourer. Okay, it is time for runes. Okay, the swap back on Shori. They're gonna force that Ori forward as they do get the Willow Wisp PKP on Shori with the false promise. They're gonna pop the exorcism with the black hole. Can he actually survive here? Ori taking so much damage. If he doesn't survive through this, this is going to be saying now they're going to uh, banish the OD as Nisha keeps on doing damage. Somehow Ori survives and he pops the next PKB, healing so much. This is triple spirit siphon, zoning the entirety of Team Secret, but they have four steps and they will be able to get out as they do get a good lasso onto the Nisha. A life stealer. Oh my god, he's so low with the first step forward. Ori might find this kill. And this is Anisha that for 100 seconds without a buyback. Somehow, Vichy Gaming takes his fight. That refresher onto the Death Prophet being so impactful. The Glimmer Cape is there. They will try and the OTP. The OT, they don't have detection. Oh, DP. You gotta be careful, sir. Oh my god, the swap is there. The scepter tries to buy time, but you're not going to be able to blink out of this this time. You have Shivas, but without that BKB, two seconds on it, and the hammer with a double. Okay.
So they're gonna buy back Ori, but there's no throw for 96. The row is there, they will find the ledge as they do use the exorcism with the silence that they try to chase. Nice row will not land though. With the dust, they are going to find Zayas. He tries to disengage Yang with the BKB, has less of able looking for Yamster. He's going to BKB as well. Has one of the perseverances here. Very close to refresher as Yang is still looking for the last. So finally finds the mid one OD as they do get a swap back in with the false promise. They're trying to buy time for Ori. They do have black hole here, but Yamster is trying to avoid using it on a false promise target as they do get a magic missile on to that right now Nisha will find that kill Vici gaming they get you baited outside of their base they will be able to blink out with Ori but with a swap they will find why he's probably going to fall has on glimmer cape looks like they don't have vision GG flies out yikes anything different happen that I upstream Enigma they're gonna ban the life stealer and me will have a pretty different game apparently Oh, so that is a Puppy Vengeful Spirit. That's going to be a Yapser Rubik Nisha on the anti mage. That's pretty. It's pretty good. Actually, two draws. Oh, nice. Spiker piece there. Stunning mid one in as he tries. Oh, I missed the kill. Nice. Puppy finds that kill as Yang now commits the Drunken Brawler. Just boofing Secret out as they do. Get that Magic Mixile doing a lot of damage to Yang. There is Blink available for Nisha. Can they find the skill? They will Puppy with the Wave of Terror. That's a double kill for him. As Secret actually reflects the Fortune Zen. He keeps on farming here. Looks like he did go for Midas. So the OD actually dies here. Alright, so TP from Yang, he does have that Primal Split, finally, he's gonna commit it as Zai is trying to disengage, they do have the Savage Drawer, but those Primal Split units do not care about your Savage Drawer, they're gonna lift the OD up as the Savage Drawer gets used on to Paparazzi, but they do have a Drums, and now they're gonna get on close on to be doing, they're dra draining a lot of his damage as the Hurl Boulder does connect, but they are afraid of fighting, and now Yang's gonna be forced out as he does move forward with the Clap, he's gonna try and zone them out, but Beautiful Ravage by the Nyx Assassin hitting three heroes and the Bears. Yang is trying to disengage Magic Missile onto him. He will fall. The Clap is there. The Hammer seals the deal. Nyx Assassin looking for... Oh, but they will drop a center. That center is actually from Vichy Gaming. They will not align the Impale with the Rio Bear, but they will find the... I mean, that is the Rio Bear, actually, by the Mandalon Druid as they do pop the Primal Split. The Hurl Boulder will hit Yapster as they keep on chasing. A lot of damage stolen from that Razor, so they will have to swap Yapster back as another Hurl Boulder flies out. They're gonna get a good, good Astro on one of those Primal units as they lift the OD up. A lot of dives here. Can they find middle Nice Impale hits on him and the Bear. That's the second Bear dead, so they don't have to resummon for 100 seconds. The Astro trying to buy time, but Paparazzi with this BKB, they will be able to find mid one. This Blink Dagger on to be with Fade Bolt. By the way, canceling the blink dagger on the brewmaster. He does have that blink though. Where is the clap? He's looking for it. There you go. The clap is there with the primal split. Mid one is already stunned up as they do get the impale. Mid one will pay with his life. And it looks like he will lift that Rubik as well. This is the time for Vichy Gaming to avenge what happened in the first game. They're gonna get a good stun onto the Rubik. There's no time for him to buy back or to uh, do anything. They will find avenge as well. There is buyback for Zai as they will group up in the bottom side of the map. This ages with the plans. Looks like this Medusa is now unstoppable as they have to TP back our boy anti-mage Nisha trying to split pushing he's doing a pretty good job at it Yang with the clamp but Nisha is insanely strong right now he cannot stop Nisha from getting his barracks and he looks like while they're trying to get tier 3 towers they have to go back to stop Nisha so that's really the question as Vichy Gaming will actually group up here even though they do not have an Aegis so let's see if this is going to work out for them they do have every single ult on the side of Team Secret they're going to steal the plasma field as Zori starts dealing a lot of damage here we see Nisha and Zai trying to split push bottom but there is a tier 2 tower there so it's going to take a while to find the tier 3 tower here as the Astro is by time and it looks like they already find this tier 2 tower. They really want to split push Vichy Gaming. Can Secret buy enough time? They're trying to get mid one here and they will explode mid one. He has no buyback. It looks like Team Secret might be forced back but they just want to brute force their way through the bottom lane of barracks. Vichy Gaming will find one melee barracks here. They have to disengage now. Can they stop this vengeful spirit? You don't want to get swapped back and they will get a kill on to our boy Puppy here. Paparazzi goes back. They do not find melee barracks as Zai is trying to disengage in the middle lane. They will find the anti mage. Vichy Gaming actually has Secret's number here. Yapster will steal the mana drain. He's going to be fine. No mana onto DY as he steals even more mana from him. And it looks like it is time for that Medusa to disengage the anti mage. Oh! Bo oh, oh, Yapster is fine. Another push. They will get one Astro here as Ori moves forward. They're going to get the. Um, 
Savage Roar on Ori as he finally starts hitting the barracks. But there you go, the clap on to mid one as they try to pop the Primal Roar, but gets, I'm sorry, the Primal Split, but it gets cancelled by the lift on to Yapster. Another Astro buying time, the Zyre on to Razor as he heals, uh, he heals a little bit. The bear trying to move forward, but he's scared of that spike here. Pace on to DIY. Another Astro on to the Medusa buying time for the Intimate. He's finally alive as they do get a swap on to Ori. He's going to pop the Stone Gaze as well as that BKB. The False Promise is on to him, and his Intimate is just gone. He doesn't have a way out. Out. He is just dead. I think this game's over. He had buyback before, but now he just loses his gold and he's dead. The hammer is here. Very underwhelming hammer, by the way. The fate's edict nullifying all the damage from mid one as DUI will lift him up. Where is the impale? He doesn't have it as the fortunes end will connect onto him. They're gonna buy back the Rubik, but I'm not sure this Rubik can stop what's happening here. This is another set of melee barracks for Vichy Gaming, and it looks like they will take him two. It was a very rough start, but suddenly Vichy Gaming, the Turn the heat up. Now they are going bottom here to find Megas. Looks like the bear is going to be jumped by our boy Yang here. Buyback on to the intimate. Somehow he actually got the gold. I guess he was just very, very close. Oh man, the mana void was close. But our boy over here, level 22, super tanky. The mana. Okay, the mana on to Razor as they do get the Fates Edict on to Razor trying to chase him down. But for now, he's going to be fine. TP out from the Oracle as they will find the Razor. The Metric Sayu is there. Triple kill for Nisha. But the Mega Creeps were acquired. Medusa, though, did not TP away or it might just die here with the Mystic State. Ultra kill and that is a rampage for Team Secret. Oh my god. If Team Secret can win this, I would be incredibly surprised. The Oracle and the Venge have Biobix. So two Biobix on the side of Team Secret. They will jump and they will find the after as they find the Absorb but Puppy with the swap there. Nisha pulls the BKB as he is forced out. And this is the second uh Eye of the Storm. They have so much push with that double Eye of the Storm here. Look at the ancient falling. They do not have glyph on the side of Team Secret. They're gonna get one. Uh okay, the hammer is there. Paparazzi will get the false promise and Vichy Gaming. They are able to take a game out of Team Secret. Beautiful caught off for Puppy. Very nice scythe for Zai. He does have another fairy fire and six one charges. I wonder if it's going to be enough. They keep on chasing. They know about the stick charges, so Ori does not stop. Fate wants to get a good skewer back. The question is, will they? Okay, Viper taking a lot of damage. He will deploy the other toxin. Not enough damage to find Paparazzi. Very good rotation. He's trying to set up for a defense, but little does he know that he's going to get skewered onto the Morphling here. Now Morphling becomes the Viper as he wave forms forward with the Tender Strike. Mid one is not going to be able to survive. And with the TP from Yapsor, he is working towards the Atos, but since he has to juggle so much, he had to go for the Arcane Boots. And now they will find a Kinetic Kill launch into a new place as they do wave from forward. The Viper Strike is going to be applied onto the Disruptor. They might find that kill, but I'm pretty sure they will find the Viper first, and somehow the Disruptor is still alive. The Orb doesn't give vision of the Disruptor as Paparazzi actually gets on top of the Absor here, looking for another kill. Where is the Nether Toxin? Finally committed. There is no Orb. They wait from forward with the Adaptive Strike Arcane Rune, reducing the cooldowns. The Magnus, level 7 already, with the. Okay, they will get a Skewer RP, even with the Blinding Light. Looks like Puppy will not die. So they do get a very small. Kill, but you know, the Kato is a hero that keeps on the pushing waves, and they don't want to be dealing with that. They want to start getting some towers. Not because they need, because I think they actually have the late game this game, but you know, they are strong enough and they just want to limit the map control and the farm of Team Secret. And to do that, you need to push towers. The RP already being committed, and the Magnus doesn't seem to be afraid. Even then, nice skewer back with the skewer. Oh, no, I'm sorry, nice glimpse back with the skewer. Paparazzi shows up from downtown. This Morphling is a beast. I'm sure trying to disengage. The silence is gonna be there. There, but uh, the Crapify and the Nether Blast already committed a Koyo on Tree Yang. They do not have Willow, it's for which game they should be careful. Nice, he's the Lightning Light breaking the Koyo. Yang still alive though, and he will take down to the uh, Hearts of Aurora, I guess, as Ori does group up trying to find Zai. He did commit his Battle Trans. Zai does not have the Gold Shot for about 20 seconds. Can he TP the throw out? It looks like he cannot. They will lose the trolls. Is nicely positioned here. They do not have a lot of vision around them. But they're going to find the mag. Oh no. They are chasing this Venom Lancer here. But the real one is this one. Oh, they finally find out that Nisha is indeed uh, where the RP landed. Puppy already inside the Roshan pit. Predicting what exactly they will go for. Nice man there. They don't have life to launch this market. So this is problematic. Nice. Riverside doesn't get the kill. But they will 
kill Disruptor afterwards as they do commit the wave on four, transforming into the Viper and Paparazzi will find mid with the orb with the coil. It was actually enough to find a kill onto Paparazzi. BKB popped onto Ori and because of the Ghost Shot, Ori cannot fight and because of the Heartstopper Ori, they will lose the troll. Somehow Zai is dominating now and all the advantage that Vichy Gaming had could be destroyed right now, yeah. Uh, they might just lose this game. They will try and get a glimpse onto the Viper here as they do become the Viper with the Morphling. Now he's up, mid one is dead. <laughs> he doesn't have that magic resistance. They're gonna lift the troll up as the Willow is gets deployed. If the uh, Yaps or Puck will be able to disengage with the Arb as Ori pops his BKB to try and fight. And they keep on pretending that this is the real Phantom Lancer as Nisha actually gets out and they know there's the real one. So they actually bait the BKB onto Ori as they will try and turn this around with the Atos locking Ori in, but they don't have the damage. So, Vichy Gaming, they find a kill, they did force a buyback, uh, they did force a buyback, right? Uh, okay, the fight is a little, oh, RP gets taunted, not used, they're gonna lift this Fade Magnus up as he is now silenced, has to retreat as Ori pops, he actually has a Glimmer Cape and did use his battle chance, RP is on to one, but that one is PL as they do find a kill with Zai, once again the troll gets taken down by the Dagon, but Paparazzi, he shows up, nice Ghost Trout, Riverside is here, is enough damage, it is not, Paparazzi with the Mantra and the attribute shift allowing him to still fight. Zai doesn't have the ghost shot. Can they find the skill? He now has the one again. Zai disengaging, but the thunder strike, the body blocks. Can they get the skill? The silence from the puck finds the kill. But Paparazzi shows up. Triple kill for him as they buy back the Necrophos. And he looks at like Paparazzi needs to get out. He has a lot of HP. That Dagon is not going to be enough as he actually jumps forward. And he's going to take a lot of damage from that net award. The officer taking damage from the thunder strike will be able to face shift one of the instances. But uh, he doesn't really have the control control to find that kill. He does have a Diffusal Blade and they're gonna glimpse him up where's the Doppelganger. He doesn't get the Doppelganger off as they will try and get on top of Nisha and with that battle chance and the RP like they will find that kill with TP from Kato is now cancelled. I wonder if Secret wants to hold on to that or if they'll try and go for a sneaky play. With Lois but he's available. The Atos breaking more things Lincoln as they do jump up with the uh, Puck. Nice job here as the Reaper side. No, he's using that attribute shift and already has a BKB. So Zai's Reaper side is a complete waste as they do get the Willow Wisp destroyed and now it looks like Zai's gonna get glimpsed up. Nice work here. Paparazzi becomes a Viper once again trying to do damage. He will disengage with the Glimmer Cape and and Paparazzi wants to get back once again trying to use the bottle to you know, get back to HP and Nord flies out. They are trying to commit here. They will get the kinetic field. He does not lock Viper in as the BKB on Chiori is popping. He's trying to get on top of the Viper. He glimpse the Viper up as they do pop the battle. Transmit one tries to survive. He will become the Viper. And it looks like Paparazzi is fine. The age is still up as they do troll a Spirit Lance onto him. And use after here onto the officer. Not really sure what he's doing, but melee barracks falls as well as the Veil and Blink Dagger. The Viper has Mac trying to get a Ghost Scepter now because, you know, he's uh, struggling a little bit here with Wisp in the point. Can he actually get on top of the Morphling here? Oh boy, that is a dead Morphling. The Reaper side is there before he can even think with the Shadow Blade, and maybe they don't know. Uh, no, that's definitely a new item. Or is the Skewer back there looking for the RP? They only get one, but with the Skewer, they're gonna go back and mid one. He's creating so much damage with the Waveform. They will find a kill onto him. Zai with the Gold Shot trying to disengage. This is a very, very tinky Nisha as he tries to fight Ori, but with the Battle Trance, he cannot die. And the Doppelganger turns low ground trying to disengage. Nisha will be fine, and it looks like he actually buy back the Morphling as he wants to take this fight. The Glimpse is not there. The Doppelganger your dodge from the Pia once again as they actually find him later with uh, Static Storm. I think going like this might be very, very scary, especially without that Aegis Hold. That's RP 1 to 2. The Willow is not there, and they will lose both the Necrophos as well as the Puck. So then the buyback onto them as they do drop the Willow is down. The Willow is dead, and they keep on trying to fight Nisha with his PL. They can be on Paparazzi as they do try to disengage. Willow breaks two up as Ignited Field locks the PL in. But with the Doppelganger, he's going to be able to disengage. Reaper side on to the Troll, and they do find that Q dead for 140 seconds. Jesus Christ, as the Puck drops the sentry, he doesn't find the Magnus here. They're trying to chase, and now the Viper becomes the Morphling. I'm sorry, the, the Morphling becomes the Viper as they do try to lock the Puck in, but with the face shift stretch by time, they will disarm him. The Dagon finds that Q, and the Puck is dead for 99 seconds as they buy back the Troll, but he's not there just yet. He's trying to reach the fight. The Puck will die. He has buyback as well, and it is time for VG Gaming to finally put an end to Secret's victory here. They will try and get on top of Zai, and he doesn't have much of his name, he will die back as well. Two heroes dead on Seven Secret without buyback. They are trying to find a mid one here. Whereas the glimpse, the disruptor is dead. He's still trying to reach the fight as they do get the Viper Strike back. The bar fling will become the Viper once again, doing a lot of damage as they do drop the Deadly Toxin, doing damage to this PL. But he's now 25, has the Doppelganger Talents as they do become 
demorphling once again. Where the hell is this morphling? Finally, the status horn is here, and he looks like Nisha will fall. Not before finding a dieback kill onto the disruptor, but. Looks like Viper is the only core alive on the side of Team Secret. We have Vibex, they're gonna drop the Nether Ward. They will get a skewer back onto this mid one. Viper, the Ghost of Terzer, but he does not buy enough time with that Dagon and the Nether Toxic. He is dead. VG Gaming, they take it out of Secret. It was costly. It was very close, but they do it. Wow.